What is up guys, Beyond the Objective here and today I'm bringing you an 11 to 1 search and destroy gameplay on the map Silo, Silo, I don't really know how to pronounce that but I'm going to pronounce it Silo and yeah the reason it's 11 to 1 is because it died in the last round which pissed me off, I'm not going to lie it did really annoy me for the simple fact that it could have went flawless and let's be honest 11 to 0 sounds a lot better than 11 to 1 <laughs> so yeah uh, today I want to speak about one topic and that's Modern Warfare 3, I'm not going to do a do a pretty long commentary for the simple fact that I don't want to. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk a long time about it because I'm not too sure exactly how it's going to play out. Sure, I have seen some gameplays, but that's not. That will not. And that's not what the game's going to be like. Maybe to a certain extent, but not fully. So I'm not going to explain it fully. But I'm going to talk about three topics, which is quick scoping, submachine guns, and map sizes. And for the final sub subtopic, basically, I'm going to talk about how I think Modern Warfare 3 is going to perform. So the first thing is quickscoping, and if you've watched any gameplay, mainly Tebs, you you will have seen that quickscoping looks like it's going to be back. The snipers look pretty good, and the dragon off, even though in previous Call of Duties, it looks to be two shot kill. But in Modern Warfare 3, it looks to be one shot kill for the majority of the time. So I'm really happy about that. I really wanna, I really wanna open my sniper choices up, and. In previous Call of Duties, I couldn't use a Dragon off for the simple fact that it was two shot kill. But now if it's one shot kill, I can use that. Maybe get some gameplays of it. It's going to be a whole new. It's going to be a whole new game for the simple fact that they're bringing new guns in, balancing them out, making them less shots and all the kill, uh, less shots to kill and stuff. So yeah, hopefully, hopefully Quizcoping is back, and um, we're just going to have to wait to see how it plays out. And the second topic is submachine guns. If you if you watch like I said Teb's gameplay or a few others, you're gonna see that submachine guns are so OP. And if you don't know what OP means, it basically means overpowered. Well, that's what it looks like anyway. For the simple fact that hip farm is beyond beyond crazy with these submachine guns. The UMP is back and it looks to be overpowered. I'm not gonna lie, it does. It, I'm not complaining because I like I like using guns overpowered, even though other guys don't. But that's my opinion. I like making the game easier for me. Why wouldn't you? But I also like to open, open the playstyle to a different Ferrari. So yeah, the UMP especially, that's a gun that I noticed the most for the for the reason that most people was using that in the gameplays. That looks so overpowered and yeah, hopefully they do fix it. I know I've said it, I like overpowered guns, but this is beyond overpowered. It's, it, it looks to be worse than the other Mark Call of Duty, but you never know, maybe that could be every gun. We're just going to have to wait and see. It's too soon to tell right now, and I am looking forward to it. I can't wait. I, I wasn't really excited for it, but now that the gameplays have come out, I'm super stoked for it. I can't wait. But yeah, the submachine guns are just... They're so easy to have fire, so easy to kill people. It drops people in mere seconds, so that's why. And the third and final thing is map sizes. Map sizes are pretty good, actually. And uh, the gameplays that I've saw, it didn't look to be any big maps. They're all medium to small range, which is perfect. I hate maps like Array, where you have to run to one side of the map. And by the time you get there, then they've killed another guy. So yeah, I really like these types of maps. Hopefully they do keep it like this. Hopefully all the maps are like this. Maybe one big map, that's all I would really need. I don't really like playing big maps. But yeah, that's all I've really got to say. Final verdict for Modern Warfare, 2, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I can't wait, I can't say much. And I'm going to have to wait to see how it plays out. Peace.